Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and here is video number two of my 2016 Halloween series. And this time I pulled out my Echo Park Halloween 12 by 12 papers. I've been asked a lot what I do with the pattern papers because I show them a lot in haul videos. And honestly, 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 I hoard them. I don't use them as much as I used to. I just, I get happiness out of owning them. <laughs> but but this time I decided to use some of them and actually cut into them, even though it killed me just, just a little bit. Um, I wanted to use the, th this pack that I showed in a haul video it came with that sticker sheet I showed um, a few seconds ago. And it had the little, um, not little, but large kind of ghost die cut. I had mentioned how I wanted the ghost die from this collection and it, it sold, every time I would place an order, it was sold out. So it is available all over the place and places keep restocking. It's just been eluding me. But I wanted to use, you know, that specific image. I do have another ghost eye in my collection, but it just wasn't the same. And then when I went through that sticker sheet, I saw that large ghost and I was like, oh, I can use that to make my card. So I picked out the patterns I wanted to use from the collection and the one um, spider web pattern I cut down and then this purple pattern I just die cut with one of my rectangle dies from the Simon Says Stamp basic rectangle dies. And then I had some Doodlebug textured cardstock in my stash. So I die cut that with one of the large tag dies from Simon Says. And then to finish off my tag, I grabbed some May Arts. This is the sheer polka dot ribbon that I have had for eons. Like when ribbon first kind of became a thing in card making, what, a decade ago, whenever it was, <laughs> I started my collection of that and I've got like full rolls of this. I have a lifetime supply of all this ribbon. So I just strung a little bit through the tag. And then you use some white um, hemp cord to tie in a knot to hold the ribbon in place. And then just left it as as it was for now. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the tails. I was going to leave them long, cut them short. I do end up cutting them later on. But did all that. And then to adhere the tag to the spiderweb pattern paper, I popped it up on some foam tape. And it's kind of hard to tell in the video. But um, the reason I trimmed down that spiderweb pattern paper was they had squares of it on the back of that one. The full sheet of spiderweb pattern paper. And all of those spiderwebs on this piece are glossy. So just an extra little something. So then I've got my little um, ghost sticker, which I don't work with stickers like ever. That's just not my thing. I just struggle with them. But this one, of course, was too cute. And it, I'm pretty sure the actual die is this size. So someday if I ever get my hands on it, that'd be awesome. But um, I had this black glitter cardstock and I used that to back just scraps of that to back the little mouth and the eyes just to give it that little extra something. Then I stuck that onto the tag and then the friend die cut that is from the Simon Says Stamp Painted Friend die. And that's what I'd originally die cut from this black glitter cardstock. So once that was done, I'm using my multi-medium matte adhesive and applying that to just the last remaining parts of the sentiment there to adhere. And I totally forgot to put um, foam tape behind the F there because it was just kind of hanging over the edge. So thank you, I was able to kind of pull it up without wrecking it and place that into um, position so that it doesn't end up getting smushed and looking all wonky. So as usual, I'm just kind of like, I'm just going with my cards. You know, I don't really plan out a whole lot, more so because I don't have time. So that's usually why, you know, I do things as after, pretty much everything I make is afterthoughts. <laughs> so set that aside for a minute. And my card base is some Grout Grey cardstock from MFT, um, a sheet of cardstock that I cut in half lengthwise so it's four and a quarter by 11 and I scored it at five and a half with my Teflon bone folder so this will be a top folding A2 sized cards so of four and a quarter and five and a half and I was going to adhere it just like this and then I was looking at it and I'm like mm, nope it needs it still needs a little something so I cut down another piece or I die cut with one of the larger dies I think yeah with one of the larger rectangle dies I die cut the black glitter cardstock again and I've shown this in other videos but you can either use a die cut or just use your paper cutter, but I'm cutting out the center of this glitter cardstock because again, you're only gonna see the outside edges and glitter cardstock especially. I don't do this all the time, but for people that don't have as much just regular cardstock, pattern paper, whatever, this is a great way to conserve it. With glitter cardstock, I pretty much always do this because I just can't waste it. You don't get very much glitter cardstock in any pack or you're just buying individual sheets, whatever. So I always cut the centers out because I can use them for another die cut or whatever on my cards. So did that and then I adhered my card front then to that with my ATG adhesive and then I cut down that hem because I did not like how it just they look it looked weird. And then applied a bunch more adhesive to the back of the glitter frame and the card front there and adhered that to my card base. And then for the inside of my card, I should have stamped the inside before I adhered 
all the bulk to the card front, but I wasn't thinking. I wanted to use the sentiment that I showed again in that same haul, I think. This is the Riley and Company um, Ghost Friends sentiment that a lot of you got a kick out of, which of course I did too. I thought it was so funny. That's why I had to have it. And that's why I chose, you know, this ghost themed card and everything. Um, a lot of people lately have been asking me about, um, they're not asking, just making comments like, you know, I don't send Halloween cards. I don't either. I don't normally send a card that just says specifically Happy Halloween, but it's fun to make Halloween themed cards, whether they be friendship or thank you or birthday or whatever during this season and then sending them to people because it's just, they're fun and cute. So a card like this, I would, you know, just send to a friend around this time leading up to Halloween because it's fun and it's cute and yeah. So I used my Misty to stamp this sentiment just because I wanted to make sure I stamped it perfectly. So I'm using my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink and then use my Mini Misty. So I got that stamped perfectly on the inside of my card. And I'd remove that foam part from the Misty because this was this is a rubber and cling back stamp. So it's thicker. And then there was one more little ghost sticker on that um, big sheet that I'd use. So I added that to the inside. So it was just perfect. And this is what I mentioned in my last video when I was making enamel dots and I said I made a big boo-boo working on textured cardstock. This was what I was talking about. I decided to use my Nouveau Crystal Drops and I knew as I was doing it I was probably going to struggle because this textured cardstock, I couldn't get a perfect circle. I ended up with this splotch and I was sitting there looking at it and I'm like, oh my god, what am I going to do? Because it's it's a mess. It looks just gross. <laughs> it looks like I spilled something on my card. So to fix it, I scraped it off with my scissors into a dry baby wipe head sitting on my desk and then used a dry baby wipe to try and dab it up, which wasn't happening because of course it's black and it's leaving a mess. So to fix this, rather than trying to pull everything apart and read here, it would have taken forever. I of course grabbed some sequins. Um, if I'd had some of uh, those enamel dots that I'd made later pre-made up, I, I could have used one, you know, to cover, but instead I just used sequins. So I adhered a black sequin over the splotch, making sure it completely covered, and then added a few more as intentional embellishments. <laughs> so I didn't have just one random sequin sitting there. So I'll have links to all. I'm using a couple of pretty pink posh sequins. The orange ones are from a doodlebug pack. The black one is from my craft medley pack, I think. So I adhered those into place with my multi-medium matte adhesive and that finished off the card. So sparkly and fun and just totally adorable. So as always, I will have a link below the video to my blog post with the pictures as well as links to all of the supplies used. So check out the description box below as well as here at the end of the video. I finally figured out how to do this. I've got the link to the enamel dots video that I mentioned as well as the first Halloween card that I made in this series. So you can just click on the annotations for that as well as subscribing, all my social media, all that fun stuff is here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.